Lines Long Halftime Walk is a film told by the point of view of 19-year-old private Billy Lynn, who along with his fellow soldiers in Bravo Squad, becomes a hero after a harrowing Iraq battle and is brought home temporarily for a victory tour. You get a good idea of how realistic the terrors and stresses of war are by seeing through a film so clear and vivid as this. Through flashbacks culminating at the spectacular halftime show of the Thanksgiving Day football game, the film reveals what really happened to the squad, contrasting the realities of the war with America's perceptions. A film like this might have an interesting impact on the view of people and veterans of society. You get to turn the film off and not have to live through this anymore. But a veteran with PTSD cannot stop this. They have it playing through their head constantly. This is the opinion of multiple veterans articles written on countless blogs and even an interview I had from my father and stepfather, both veterans of Afghanistan and Iraq. What is interesting about this movie is that the whole movie is told from Billy's point of view. You are taken through the movie with his eyes and ears. Everything from flashbacks of war to the struggle to assimilate back into civilian life, you become Billy's eyes and ears throughout. In Billy Lynn's long halftime walk, director Ang Lee decided to take another hopeful step toward a new age in technology. By shooting his movie at a higher frame rate, 120 frames per second, as opposed to the usual 24, Lee hoped for a new experience when it came to watching film. Ang Lee is one of the greatest contemporary filmmakers. From the start of his career, this is a man who just doesn't fit the mold. So he doesn't ever want to repeat himself. He just wants to keep moving forward. And this is the goal, well, the hope, for Billy Lynn's long halftime life. They shot the movie in 3D, 4K at 120 frames per second. 2D is just a flat image on a screen, but 3D creates an experience your mind wants to believe is real. The viewer begins to feel like they are in Billy's shoes. It creates a new, singular, cinematic experience. The movie overall ended up being a flop, but Lee hasn't given up on his high frame rate technology. He plans to use this for his next film, and he stated that one answer brings 10 more questions. He clearly isn't done researching this film technique, and maybe higher frame rates will become the norm in theaters in the next couple of years. I think we should put bloopers at the end. Okay. And should. it should start with me saying, can we put bloopers at the end? <laughs> <laughs> you have an apple. That's what princesses do. Yeah. <laughs> Is that a, the apple?